Hi everyone, this is Eton is bringing you another Marvel Legends review, which is Lady Death Strike from the Super Villains Wave. Looking really good. So before we talk about her, just talk about the boxes. It's just the same design as the other boxes. Nothing too special. Oops, my camera. Yep. So both sides we have a drawing of Lady Death Strike and at the back you can see a description along with her. Yep. You can actually pause if you would like to read the description. Yeah. So the figure itself doesn't come with any accessories, though she does come with the Sanil BAF. The main body part. We'll talk about this later. And yeah. The figure itself looks really damn good actually. And not a great job. Every time I crack figures from this wave, I feel like Hasu did a really really good presentation of them. This one just looks awesome. So let's talk about her articulation first. You see, actually, the face sculpt is very good sculpted. It's a really good presentation of her. And her head move up like that and then down like this. Actually, much, uh, pretty much, is quite good, actually. Yeah. Because, oh, her, her head's actually, she could look up that much. Yeah. Because her hair is kind of a rubbery, rubbery uh, material so you could actually bend a little bit if you would like to do so and then uh, neck she goes like that and then she also goes free sexy and both of her hands goes out like this and yeah another free sexy articulation and then she does have a swivel and a single joint elbow and this part of her hands I don't think is articulated but I do think if you put some hot water or using a hairdryer, it does move. But for now, I couldn't. I tried a few times, but it doesn't move. And her hands goes up and down, and same as the other side also. So yeah, she have a waist swivel, and then she could and down. Not much actually. It's just a. It's just a ball joint. Yeah, she goes back like that, and then, yeah, not much. And her feet kicks up that much and goes up like this and she have a swivel as well, a 360 swivel double joint uh, knee and then her feet goes up like much and then that much and also angle pivot so yeah the face sculpt's really really good you see how good is this? this is? It's a really nice and modern presentation we had for Hasbro in these days. Not not the modern look. I mean, I mean Hasbro did a good job on updating her compared to the uh, Toybiz one. Toybiz face just looks a bit weird to me. This, though, I, I remember Lady Death Strike is a Japanese. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. She's a long time rival of Wolverine and the, uh, some of the X Men and also X Twenty Three. So this does her face looks a little bit Western to me instead of an Asian face, but still, it's fine for me. So let's do some size comparisons. So she stands at around a little bit shorter than six inch or around six inch. Yeah, just a normal height for uh, female Marvel Legends figures. Here's Lady Death Strike standing with some G.I. Joe classified series figures. Here we have the Mayfax Batman and also the Gomax. It's a Samurai Gomax. One of my most favorite figures. I, I feel like these two could work because yeah, Lady Death Strike is a Japanese character and yeah, Gomax is a Japanese in, Go, uh, in Japanese samurai style, which could work. Then we have Lady Death Strike with Bullseye and also Sabertooth. Bullseye does have some stories, long stories about uh, related to Lady Death Strike. I remember the origins kind of about Bullseye also when the beginning of her uh, Lady Death Strike stories. 
Then here we have the Revolut Tech Yamaguchi cable and also Marvel Legends Omega Red. Both stands very good next to Lady Death Strike. And this cable actually one of the best figure Revolut Tech have gave us. Yep, what a nice nice figures. Then here we have the Marvel Legends uh, Mystique and X23. I didn't expect Mystique to be taller than than Lady Death Strike actually, but she's significantly taller than her. Um, yeah, both characters have a lot of stories going on with Lady Death Strike back then. I remember Mystique pretending to be Lady Death Strike, and these two they often fight. Last but not least, we have the uh, Lady Death Strike's longest revivals, Wolverines. And left hand side, we have the Days of Future Past Wolverine, comes with the Sentinel uh, exclu exclusive pack, and also the X Force Wolverine. I don't think I have the classic version of Wolverine at hand, and I don't have either the Mayfax version or even the Revolutech version. I might get them later on because I know both of the figures are very good. The one from the uh, free pack Marvel Legends Wolverine is pretty good actually, but I don't have it ahead. So yeah, sadly I couldn't compare Lady Death Strike so you guys showing you guys to how does she look besides a classic look of Wolverine. So overall she's a really nice figure. Hasbro did another amazing job of an updated version of her and you can see this uh, paint jobs on the chest and also her hands all of this really good actually they did a really great job on this the paint the sculpting is really good and her face looks pretty good also and just one minor problem for mine actually uh, yeah, that's a little bit paint job problem. The paint, the red paint goes onto her clothes. Actually, just a very minor one. So this is one of the QC problems Hasbro sometimes have for quite some time already. But overall, another amazing super villain of the wave. Yeah. So if you enjoy my video, feel free to like. Uh, sub thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the photos after my review. See you guys!